Tosca Reno is back, and we're talking about how to eat clean and feel great this summer. You say 80% of looking great is food versus Absolutely. exercise. And you have to do it every day, so you might as well figure out how to get it right. And when we eat clean foods, not necessarily all plant-based, but today we happen to be focusing on that. Um, that is the best way to rev up your metabolism, lift your booty, slim your waistline, all those good things that we all want as we take off more and more clothes in the summer. And I love that these are portable. You've got a savory bowl That's and right. a sweet These are one. portable. <laughs> They you are. can carry these meatballs anywhere <laughs> with you. They're not meatballs. But they're not meatballs. No. What are they so called? So my thought was, this is a long-standing snack in the Eat Clean Diet program. It is a protein power ball. So you can take two of those. That's your snack to go. It's got everything in there. Your healthy fats, your protein, your micronutrients. It's delicious. But I thought we need a savory version. What's in it, though? So, dates? Yes, we have dates as your sweet factor. There's no sugar whatsoever. We've got cinnamon, which regulates blood sugar. We've got uh, chia, and we've got flax, both of which are good for the heart heart healthy fats, nut butter to hold it together, raw cacao, which is a food in itself, mm. and you just whiz that up. You've got oats, and you, you, if you can press a button on a food processor, and if you can make balls, you're good to go. And you, you, know, you, and you know, leave it in the fridge, set it in the fridge, yeah? Yep. You, you know what would be really nice? Dip that in a beer batter, deep fry it, and you got yourself a... a no. <laughs> Wrong <Nice>. segment. <laughs> <laughs> can I try it? Absolutely. Yeah, go All right. I, I'm going to be honest. You're going to have bits in your teeth, but mm. that's okay. Mm. And protein packed to there sustain you. you. And so it's you portable. No, this and is really good. It I, is really good. Okay. <laughs> so you don't hit the vending machine at 3 o'clock, right? Mm -hmm. You've got that. Savory. But then I wanted a savory option because not everybody wants to eat sweet every minute of the day. Mm. Yeah. So here we go. Okay. I made the savory. And this is all delicious plant-based food. So we have the brown rice in there. We have chickpeas. We have cooked roasted. Brown rice. Yeah, cooked brown rice. Yeah. And I did roasted um, butternut squash and heirloom carrots, which are in season right now. Mm. And I also roasted the garlic. We want the nutrients from that, but you don't want that. I want that you want to okay, okay. So let's make one of these. There Is you go. And sun-dried tomatoes. Yes, yeah, so you just pulse that. Have look at that. Look at the color in there. This. There you go. See? It almost reads like a beautiful fruitcake or something. And it this might be that. nice with a dip, too. Basically, you just pulse that. Mm -hmm. And there's mm -hmm. television magic. Mm -hmm. Here we go. I love, sorry, oh, sorry, I love the hits of spices in oh here. Gosh, You've got zatar, which is Middle Eastern, a little hit of chili. That's good, you're good. He's really good with the buttons. Oh, and yeah. sun-dried tomato that. with that umami flavor, which if you're not going to have meat, that's where your umami is going to come from. I'm going to warn you, Kev, you don't like cilantro. You just ate it. You just ate it and you didn't oh, know it. I can, no, I can taste it. Is it tingling? I, I want it to be, I want it to be. <laughs> Polite. No, I'm not a huge cilantro or cumin, anything, anything. It's a thing, right? Oh, it tastes okay. like soap. For it does, people. it does. Yeah, for some people. Yeah. We've talked yeah, about absolutely. that. Absolutely. I'm not going to lie, I love this. It's dense, it's beautiful. Yeah. It has a sweetness to it because it has the squash. And the carrots and as the well, carrots. yeah. So finally, um, watermelon is often thought of as a super sweet food, but it actually has a weight management ingredient in it. It's a really interesting molecule. So I've got this lovely drink that we can have in the summertime. And gosh, we've been having sort of nicer temperatures. All right, so a little bit of watermelon. It just adds a nice color. Kevin's going to make away with kombucha. Food. Do you love kombucha? <laughs> I love kombucha. Me so too. In our ancient traditional peoples, we used to eat a lot of fermented foods. Mm -hmm. We eat less of them. But the more fermented foods we have, and you can see at the bottom there's this there's this uh, sediment. Yeah, it's called the mother or SCOBY, mm -hmm. symbiotic community of organisms, bacteria, and yeast. So that's what you want. You want fermented foods in your belly for your gut microbiome uh, I, to I, feed them. I use a lot of fermented grapes. In <laughs> <laughs> something called wine, wine and beer. And you make this lovely dish with basil with I love basil um, the taste with sweet uh, foods like strawberries and watermelon good for digestion is delicious. excellent yeah, yeah. And, and it makes you for you it makes you think that it's I don't know just smell it yeah Smell summer fresh. Yeah, exactly. Also, so. you can see Tosca. You are going to be at the CanFit Pro World Fitness Expo in Absolutely. August, and you're there for like four days or something, right? Four days. We're going to kick it off with the Women Who Influence event. We've got all kinds of things going on. I'm presenting, speaking. You'll be around fit people. You get motivated, inspired. It's really the top show for anybody who's interested in being fit. And you don't have to be fit to attend. Muddle it. So I invite everybody. All we'll right. drink to that. There probably mm. should be something more fermented in there. Yes. <laughs> Almost like a champagne. It is. It Isn't actually it? is. It actually is. Like a, with a bubbly, refreshing. Yeah, exactly. Thank you so much, Tosca. <laughs> right now over to Mel.